Still in the movie world, filmmaker John Omutuashe infuses contemporary element in his faith-based movie Prey as he seeks to bridge the gap between faith-based content and the growing mainstream entertainment content. He allows our cameras to go through the location of the movie while it's still in its principal photography stage. Details in this next report. Do enjoy. Drummers. Oh. Drummers. Drummers. Off the back of shooting The High Flying Enoch, a biography of the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, faith based filmmaker John Oguntuashe is back at work as he hopes to create another masterpiece. Come in. So, uh, so, uh, you, if you are here, I want to tell you, you turn back. Everybody, hello. Look at them and you freeze. Let me, what is this? Determined to break the gap between the faith based industry and the mainstream counterpart, Oguntuashe is creating a thriller storyline around a haunted village where strangers are usually murdered, and it's titled Prayer. Prey is a thriller, is a thriller mystery crime story, which is still fit based. And so, so Prey uh, talks about um, a certain haunt, haunted community far away, far away from civilization. Of course, there's some youth corp service, youth corp member that went in the service of medical medical students that are youth corp, youth corp medical uh, graduate students that went to a certain community that is being haunted by a strange man. <laughs> so basically, that's all I can say about it. I, I, of course, it discusses um, the Lakaresca attitude of um, Nigerian, not everybody, but some of the Nigerian medical practitioners, of course, family, you know, time, yeah, having fam type of family. It's because government, a part of government too, that, you know, that probably they will not be responsible for things that they are supposed to be responsible for. And then, of course, basically, and more importantly, discusses about God and His supremacy and the power of believing in God and what God can do if you trust Him, basically. Nollywood actress and sexual purity minister Omolara Ayola, popularly known as PMH, takes on the character of a detective who has moved from the city to solve the disturbing crimes in the rural areas. Um, I haven't played, I'm not sure I have played um, a police officer in any movie before. This is practically the first time I'm going to be playing a police officer and again a detective, you know. So um, it's not like the regular Nigerian detective. That's why I'm like this, you know, he just, it needs this cowboy kind of look. So I had to carry myself and when he sent me the picture actually, I had to just go and reduce the size. I needed to do some exercise, reduce my meal, change a bit of diet here and there so that at least I have a bit of flat on me to carry the clothes. I don't want to wear the clothes and then there's one small pot belly showing so I just had to go and do something about my size so that I can be smart and, and all that. And you know, to learn one I, of course I can speak Yoruba, but some, having to translate a script in English to Yoruba, of course they sent translation to every other person, but they never sent to me, believing that I would try my best. But so far it's been awesome, yeah. Director. She's also particularly happy that the movie is taking a different direction than the regular in your face, faith based movies. Things are getting better, especially the gospel movie ministry. We call it a ministry. We are actually trying our best. And this movie is one of the movies that, you know, is actually. Um, building something, trying to change the narrative. We have several movies like Abejoye, we have other movies, several other ones like that, that are, has actually um, changed the narrative. And this is just one of it as well. And um, God is helping us. We are, not, we are not sleeping on this matter. We're getting better every day. We're bringing in new things. We are, we are enlarging our hearts, you know, and um, having a large heart to really entertain some things you know initially we we're very conservative and all that but now 
we're beginning to see that we need to reach more people in the society and it's helping us and that, that's just it. We are, we are embracing more change and it's, it's, it's getting better. No often than not, faith-based content usually clashes with many cultural practices. These filmmakers have also made conscious efforts to ensure that while the need for a change in stopping barbaric and negative practices is emphasized, the beautiful part of the African culture is encouraged and projected. <laughs> Africa, we have beautiful culture, beautiful, uh, can, you can see uh, when it comes to some of it, we have positive cultural values, I mean, values of respect, uh, our, our costumes, our props, and many things about us, our cultures are very beautiful. We have beautiful culture, you know, but there are also some negative cultures which involves these human rituals and stuff like that, which we shouldn't be doing at this time, we shouldn't be sacrificing human beings at this time, and they are saying that uh, certain gods demand human sacrifice, that is highly condemnable. Outside that, that's a negative aspect, but outside that, we have, we have, our cultural values are good. Come on, see you on Mamala Go Song, give it up to Laja, Soft Club, come to see you on Mamala Go Song. Action! Prayer is set in the present day but goes into a fictitious rural community to interpret some of the present day practices in relation to God in a contemporary manner.